Excuse me, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, sige, paliho ko. Gai ko ninyo ko an idea. What's the previous na discussion? Did we just assign groupings for the debate? Or napa ba tayo laing gi buhat last time? Precious. Rika, please, what happened last time? Muniyaz, napin na muna na una ko. That's right. Ganang katong nag- Nag-assign ka sa bawat group, ma'am, o niya. Ito nga ay, kung ano ba nga ma'am kung kinisa nga group ang sabihin, nila nga group ang sabihin after sa atong kanang katong paghumanin mo o kita sa mga ang video po, ma'am, o niya. E mo hapong i-assign sa mga mag-host, ma'am, sa kanang, sa tawag na, kanang, sa ang process sa pag-video, ma'am. Okay, sige. So, how many topics have we, ano, have we already tackled sa ato ang subject? I just presented you videos pa, no? Videos for? Ano sa nga mga videos ako ang gipang kuan sa inyo, ha? First one, katong. And then, ang ikaduha, ang history. Okay. Napakita na ba ito na ito ang history of educational technology or wala pa? May na po, ma'am. Okay. Sige. So, ang ato ang ano, coverage for the exam would be, katong doha ka video, you try to re-watch those videos get the information, and lastly, kining sim na ako ang ipakita sa inyo ha karun. This is week 1 to 3. Daba may performance task ato sa inyo ha kuan subject, first exam, or wala. Sa ito na sa syllabus. Ay, performance task or MCQ tanan. Na, ah, mawato siya ang kung saan yung performance task? Ang debate. Okay, sa debate. Therefore, ang inyong examination karong Friday would just be 35 items. Five items of that would be from the VMV or vision, mission, and values. Tapos, in 30 items, that would be about the basic concepts in educational technology. Katong mga terms, bitaw, like instructional technology, technology itself. Katong nga mga terms, okay? I already had a quiz sa katong Basic concepts, five items lang po. Na-access na take ninyo tanan ang quiz. Sa basic concepts. Dabim, basig na yung wala pa take. Thirty-five out of thirty-nine na wala ka take sa quiz. You have one day left. Gi-extend na ni na Po. So, kinsa man ni ang wala pa ka-take sa quiz? Si Carciliar, pero absent man. Si Kakayun, present Kakayun, di ba? Kakayun? Yes, ma'am, wala pa din. O ha, reminder ha, ka-extension na na siya. Mercurio also, pero ka-absent man, di ma-follow up. Si Suliva, Saliva? Mina ka? Okay ha, na-i quiz ha sa katong basic concepts. Please do check your quipper para dili ma-miss ang quiz. So far, magma pa man na nga quiz akong gihatag. Five items. Okay? And then, I will be posting a quiz sa katong video nga akong di kuhan sa history of educational technology tomorrow. So, five items lang gihapon. Okay? So, since I'm done already um, posting and 
na present na po na ako itong video sa inyo ano, sa History of Educational Technology, I will now show you the SIM. I-open sa na ako ang SIM, mga palangga. In the meantime, kaya daghan na kayo kung di pang open. Naghang na. Okay, so this sim or module is done by Sir Tolentino, Technology for Teaching, Elementary Grades, LTTL1. So there are three unit learning, ah, dalawa, unit learning outcomes. First, recognize the different paths to integrate technology in the classroom and familiarize the different ways to use technology in instruction. So, how many pages there are? Napani. Week 1 to 3 lang ba ni? A2. Okay, run through lang yun na to sa ang sim ha. Okay, in the sim, we have here the terminologies. Okay, ang term niya is meta language. It's where you can find the different terms that surround in this unit. And then essential knowledge where we can find the thorough discussion of the topics. Kita ba ninyo? Oops. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Ayan. Medyo taas-taas. Okay. The types of integration. Okay. So, mag-set lang taan ni kung asa diri kutob ang ato ang i appeal sa examination. Ayan. Okay, medyo taas-taas man siya. Di gahutan ni Sir Tonton ang inyohang silabus. Okay. Ano na din siya? 123 pages. One ni siya ang kinatibukan niya sim. So, week 1 to 3, that would be in first examination coverage. Week 4 to 5, mao na siya ang second exam na coverage. And then, kwa na dyan na itong ma-skip. Pwede, so, di istorya. Week 6 to 7, that's a third exam coverage. And then, week 7, week 8 to 9, that's a final exam coverage. Pero actually, appeal na dia week 1 to 9 na na siya or kining tibok na nga module ang ano, coverage para sa inyong final examination. So, pila ka pages tanan ang ano, week 1 to 3, 39 pages including the activities. Okay? But we only have two sessions. So, mahulog nga 
ang i-coverage nato sa examination would be katong two videos nga akong gisyo sa inyo ha. Ang basic concepts in educational technology, history of educational technology, and kinilang sa big picture A, ULO, A. So, unsa ang nasa ULO, A, kinilang sa recognize the different paths to integrate technology in the classroom. Okay, para at least ipunmutan itong magka-buli-buli o in-study. Okay, so ULOB medyo ma-implantaan ni. Okay, ngayon ang gets, sabtan. Okay, now the two terms here being defined are technology integration and Bloom's taxonomy. Who can read to me the definition of technology integration? Yes, Sabandal. Um, technology integration, the use of technology resources such as computers, mobile devices, like smartphones and tablets, digital cameras, social media platforms and networks, software applications, the internet, etc. in daily classroom practices and in the management of a school. Okay, so when you say technology integration, this is how you are going to apply this technology resources. So, on sa ni mga magamit, like for example, kini mga tablets, smartphones, digital camera, social media, and internet. On sa ni siya nga magamit ni siya sa klase. Okay? Now, teachers are in great na ano advantage if he or she, or if they will be using pala technology in their classes, Asynchronous or synchronous classes, ma face to face man yan, technology is already there to facilitate learning. Okay? Napa mo ijok 102 or wala. Nana ba mo introduction to technology or or mo ninyo yung first na ano subject po about technology? Hello? Anyone? Ikaduha naman ata ni ma'am. Ano sa ang first ninyo nga about technology ang subject? Ka Ay, wait lang po. Sige daw. Iba si kung balik-balik ra ang kanang lesson ba? Ang sama na ang subject. Gawala ito na ito. Kadali. Hindi na ma-remember. Kung siya, ma'am. Technology. Technology for teaching and learning one po, ma'am. Eduk 102. Mm, Eduk 102. Two so, okay, so, so sa Eduk 102, ang katong, ano, ten hour ago din yung syllabus, diba, basic concepts man to in educational technology, of history of educational technology. So, you, re, you already have an idea about these topics, katong concepts o katong history. Tama ba? Yes, po, ma'am. Ah, okay, sige. Pwede na kadi na ito i-overemphasize. Ang awan niya sa syllabus. Ano yung i-out. So, para ito si magbalik-balik at ang topic. Yung 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 syllabus. Para... Hmm. Awan niya ang topics. Nara, sa first exam, 
basic concepts in educational technology, brief history of educational technology. What else here? Technology boon or bean, the roles of technology. Kini siya nga mga topics. Included na ni sa inyo ang Eduk 102 or dili pa. Kaya sasa na ito ni Karma Revise at least ang syllabus. Magano siguro na revise. On sa man, umana ni basic concepts, mostly about educational technology man. Nag-unsa mo sa inyong edtech na subject. Kalimut man mi mom, iki first year ko manggud mi ato mom. Oh okay. Na mention ka ha ni Koan. Kenis, systematic approach, the cone of experience using an evaluating instructional materials. Na nakalimut na, oh, sige. Ah, mag-focus na nun ta sa sim ani kining na sa sim familiar mo ani na his good try to recall lang kay kung oh, may makaanan kini siya moman ang naa sa sim hmm. about technology do ya hapon kay syempre ano man pero ang kalahian ani mga EdTLL is that you will be producing an output in relation to technology, nahulog siya nga na laboratory, pero that laboratory, of course, does not equate to going to the school for laboratory activity, but familiar mo sa kanva, no? Yes, that can, po, serve, mm, that can serve as our laboratory for sending up activities and outputs, like, for example, making a brochure, making... Try to explore na added to. Then I'll just be giving you instructions that to sa Canva about sa mga tasks or outputs that you have to submit. So, katun sa Eduk 102, it's mostly about theories, about technology, concepts about technology, yung ana. Sa EDPLL1, it's more on outputs or activities. Okay, so expect that on the second na exam coverage and up to sa ano, na ajud siya mga outputs na kailangan ninyo i send. Okay? So, for now, let's focus on the sim. Nga um, siya nakabutang di ari. Okay? If you can observe medyo ano, ano, ang sila busog ang sim. Wala pa pathways na kabutang dere. Okay? So, that's sometimes is a problem sa sim o sa syllabus guys. Isya ha. Um. Okay? So, we will focus on the sim in terms of the content starting even sa second exam or for the rest. Okay? Dati gap ko on sa syllabus but merely on activities and then, sa inyong exam karong Friday, ang um, makaverage na to would be katong two videos. Please do remember ha, the two videos, basic concepts in educational technology, history of educational technology, and then, kini big picture A, para ULOA, kini lang sa derikutob. Okay? Yan. Nuggets. Next, Bloom's Taxonomy. Who is familiar with Bloom? Unsang first name ni Bloom? Nakailan naman siguro mo ano niya? Kinsa si Bloom? Now, may I ask Basit, are you familiar with him? Benjamin Bloom, ma'am. Okay. Unsa na ila ni mo sa iya ha? Unsa yung contribution sa education? Um, psychologist and educator na siya, ma'am. Contribution niya? Um, Unsa man? 
Unsay ambag niya kibali. Sa Prof. Ed, ma-encounter po ni ninyo siya. Okay, asa naman ito? Mga naman, huwag tingog. Sige, may I call sa bandal? Uh, ako ang nainumduman, ma'am, kay katong sa mga learning objectives, good katong mm -hmm. may cognitive, affective, o katong sa psychomotor nga domains po. Yes. Okay, so that's a contribution of Benjamin Bloom in the education uh, field. Bali, he was the one who sets the standards in formulating objectives na dapat so mag-set of objectives it should not be lower order thinking lang tanan dapat balance dapat you have to develop the cognitive domain affective domain and also the psychomotor domain talking about these domains unsa may pasabot sa domains okay daw how about you kakayon any idea? Pwede mo mag-open of tam? But at least I can be familiarized with your faces. Hello. Naman, madunggan ko ninyo. Yan. Asa naman ito akong gitawag? Ang sa ganito, ma'am, kat... Ang say, katong domains? Itong three domains ni Bloom, ma'am. Katong mm -hmm. affective, psychomotor, o cognitive, ma'am. Ang sama na sila? Kung magbad ka lesson plan, man, dapat ano mag-focus ka sa cognitive. Dili lang sa cognitive, but also sa katong... Pwede po siya sa psychomotor o affective, ma'am. So, say, pasabot na ito pag cognitive domain. E develop ang? Thinking, ma'am. Thinking. Affective? Ang affective kay... Anong sa ito? Limot ko, ma'am. Pero katong psychomotor, kaya abot ka ng lihok, pitaw, ma'am. Mm -mm. Affective sa imuhang emotions, okay? Kaya, di ba, we have this what we call intelligent quotient and emotional quotient that it has to be balanced. Pwede nga, super kakabright, pero di po, wala po kay socialization skills, di po maay emo communication skills because in life, di ba, man is a social being. Therefore, dapat i-develop not only the brain or the, ang sabay laing term, and ba, the intellectual aspect, but also your emotional aspect. And at the same time, psychomotor, katong ginaingon ni mga body, body movements or physical na mga activities, okay? So, to live a balanced life. So, when you make a lesson plan, you have to make sure that these three domains are on the man. Kung kung magituhog na ang tuloka domains. Okay? So, yun. That's the contribution of Bloom in the education field. Bloom's taxonomy. It's called taxonomy because yung hangi arranged that to on different verbs. The taxonomy of learning objectives. How many ang nakabutang dito sa taxonomy, how many levels are there sa taxonomy niya? We have, daw bing, kaya mo past lesson naman po din ninyo, kabalo naman mo, ani, na na ba may background knowledge siya, ani? The lowest level of thinking is known as, ano siya? Remembering, ma'am. Yes, very good. Remembering, sunod. Understanding. Understanding. Next. Apply. Applying. Applying. Analyzing. Evaluating. And creating. Creating. Okay. Sama na siya ang nasa Bloom's Taxonomy. Okay. So, in a test, of course, dili po ingon nga katod yung unum ka, ano, imuhang i- 
tuhog, but at least three. So, mas daghan sa remembering, and then you can have a bit of understanding, and then analysis or application. Okay? Mona siya. So, this Bloom's taxonomy is a classification system used to define and distinguish different levels of human cognition. Educators have typically used Bloom's taxonomy to inform or guide the development of assessments, tests, and other evaluations of student learning curriculum and also instructional methods. Okay, even in questioning or the art of questioning, now with different levels. Okay, now, what are the teacher's beliefs and its relation to technology? Pakibasa ang kininga part derigang. May I call Tanisha Luchavez? Ay, mama. Sige, pakibasa na siya gang. What re a teacher believes in technology? What research shows about learning theory and computer use is that teachers in highly behaviorist environments find technology hard to implement. When students get technology in their hands, teachers lose some control over classroom learning. Computers and other technologies such as cameras and dig digital recorders do not just fascinate students. These tech tools change the learning environment. Most human beings do not accept changes in their lives quickly. For teachers, changes do, do not always fit into their plans. A pre-service teacher attempting to teach computer skills to preschoolers was at first frustrated when the young children did not conform to her plan for how they would demonstrate their new skills while using an online digital device. The students found editing, editing tools that the teacher did not realize existed. With the tools which they taught each other spontaneously, they turned a teacher-directed, technology-based, non-individualized activity into a, into a project that expressed their interests and viewpoints. The final project revealed for more differentiation than the teacher had planned. And she realized the students demonstrated creativity and collaboration. Students had, in the end, owned the technology tools and the end product. Okay, so what have you understood sa imong gibasa gang? So, very amam kay, all about siya sa pre-service teacher po, ma'am, na um, kanang nagayu ay kanang sa ginatawa ng kanang dili pa good siya more hands on or hands good in using ano mam kanang technology such as computers and ma na tunan niya mam is sa yahang students po nga kanang more nanay knowledge about anak good mam so more nakalearn siya sa students mam nga ingan sa ingan nga way po mam Okay, so how are we going to connect technology and the teacher's beliefs? What particular part there that is being emphasized sa kanina paragraph ha, in terms of giving projects to students using technology? Um, so, very akong is kani atang while well, using an online digital device po ma'am mm -hmm. is kanang sa teacher na connect niya ang beliefs ma'am nga kanang sa sa students nga abalo siya sa in terms of editing po ma'am nga wala na realize po as as siya nga self as kanang teacher po ma'am mm, okay so yeah thank you now Talking about the use of technology in the classroom, what is emphasized here also is the collaborative activity. Diba? How important is collaboration and teamwork in making a project using technology? 
Okay, the mayor asked from Beverly. Um, for me, ma'am, kanang base for the asagiba sa ma'am care, it makes the team or the group more productive po, ma'am, because we all know that students nowadays are more engaged with technology po, ma'am. So with the use of technology, ma'am, they can make their project easier and also mas nindot pa po siya, ma'am. Okay. So usually in you know, applying technology in the classroom, much better if you will engage the class into groupings. Okay, so that at least those mga dili kayo oriented sa technology will also learn from those who are really advanced already with technology. And about they would be learning from each other. Diba? Not all are technologically advantaged. Diba? Na amang gihapot ay ginatawag nga digital divide karong panahuna. When we talk about digital divide, it means nga not all are given the privilege to enjoy technology. Naiuban, adept na sa paggamit sa computer, sa software, pero naapoy uban na saman, behind. How sa cell phone, how mo ano sa social media, but in some other na mga tools or applications, dili kaayo. So at least, we can balance as teachers but no one should be left behind. So, through groupings and activities nga na ay technology related, students can also interact with each other. Diba? Ang isa sa ano, advantage of having technology is that there is an easy access in terms of communication. Tama ba ko? As long as online lang, of course, imuhang mga kagrupo, Ang problema, pag dili sila online, wala dito collaboration mahitabo, di ba? Tama ba? Hmm, halimbawa, magbuhat og e-portfolio. Have you done that project, electronic portfolio? Or wala pa? Hmm, okay, so wala pa. So in electronic portfolio, if that is done by group, then you can have brainstorming and also suggest some ways to make the design better and also the content na mag proofread so different skills and talents of the group members can be used limbawa o ikaw kwan ani kay mas haud man ka ana ako na bahala sa editing sa proofreading kay medyo haud man ko grammar so na ay collaboration okay and the very end of it, all of you are learning together. Okay? So, mana is chef. Okay, man is a social being. So, dili na ingo nga, ija ija aho aho nga. O individual, individual lang ako na ako ara ni. Okay, in life, when we go to work, we we really have to work with the team. Nama ba? As teachers in the future, you will have to work with your colleagues. So, kung sa imuhang knowledge, you have to share it with others para makatabang po sila sa uban. Okay, for example, na dili kay Teki, dili ingon nga ay, sa mga kauyo, makakabalo. Muna So, at least help. Okay? Next. With technology, students' roles in the classroom change. They become engaged as critical reviewers, technical support, and learning partners. One researcher found that students never read one another's writing notebooks without an invitation. But as soon as words went onto a screen, students felt entitled to review and comment on the work. The screen placed students' work into a public domain for a critical review. When you post your outputs online, kisa may nag-vlog I don't know if uso pa ba ang vlog karong panahon na kay vlog naman. Videos, videos naman ang gusto. Pero... Before, wala pa na also ng vlog. We have blog. Okay, B-L-O-G. What do you mean by blogging? Have you tried that? Do you have your blog account? Is a familiar Anna, a term, blog. 
May ask parents, familiar ka anong na term? Dili. Dili po, ma'am. Ang gato lang ang V. Gato lang? Ang vlog lang ito ng V. Ay, okay. Video plus vlog. Okay. So, when we talk about vlog, actually, there are no videos attached to it. You can attach pictures, but then it's mostly on the writing skill. For example, travel log, you have different travels or travel experiences. So, pwede mo rin online diary ba or online journal that you can write there your experiences. You can write about a certain topic and then pwede na mo siya i-share. Uh, you can make it public and then mana siya others can comment about your work. So, yes, tama. Tumblr is one example of a blog na site. We also have blogspot.com. So, pamayla in blogger.com. Kung sa pwede na hibalanin yung uh, mga blog sites. Na pa ba? Wala? Okay. So, kayo ba sa chat box ha? Aside from Tumblr, we have Blogspot. And Blogger. So, may lain. Kana siya. So far, kanang duha mo na in blogging. Okay? So, if you want to express yourself, if you want to just simply write for pleasure or for leisure time, so you can go to these sites para aside from using technology, you can also improve your writing skills. Okay? Ingan Anna. Next. Asa na ta? Kini. Pakibasa ko derit. One, two, one, two, kini doha. When students up to there is one another. Si ko an. Pakabis. Yes, pakabis. When students have technical problems, they are like likely first to ask for help from their peers. This benefits benefits the teacher as and students. A problem can be solved without teacher input, and students practice a key life skill: problem solving. As they use teach tools, students talk to one another more often for the teacher who prefers a quiet classroom. The social realities of technology use require significant shifts in thinking. Talking while they use tech tools helps students acquire, evaluate, and cement new knowledge rather than resist the rise in chatter. Teachers can leverage the need for talk by pairing students with different strengths so that they learn from one another. Okay, so thank you. So here, aside from groupings, you can also do pair activities regarding the use of technology. So in sharing Mangood, there is brainstorming and more ideas can come up if more heads are working. Two heads are better than one. You may have a brilliant idea, but with the help of other members, ah, mas guapo ingon ani o nato, ay mas okay ingon ana. So, sharing of ideas is very important when you are making a project. Okay. Lipaday nato. No matter what learning theory you hold, when technology is added to a classroom, the learning environment changes. Teachers can change their approaches while the technology is in use or they will experience frustration trying to impose boundaries on student use. There was an instance before nga ang cellphone is being, ano, ang sa tawag ana, cellphone is not allowed in the classroom. Kay, kay lagi di na daw maminaw, di na mag-participate. But actually, teachers can make use of cell phones or other technology tools in the teaching learning process. 
if you will be the teacher in a particular class, kung unsa na siya nga topic, what do you think will be, unsa na to pag-integrate ang um, paggamit sa smartphones kung naata sa klase. Nga, di it necessary that we are going to prohibit the students from making use of their cell phones. Sige daw, unsa ang pag-integrate ang paggamit sa phone sa klase? How about you, Trobilias? Can you have a sharing of that? Hello po, ma'am. Good afternoon po, ma'am. Good afternoon. So, kwan ma'am, kung if, I, if technology, ma'am, nga integrated into the classroom, ma'am, ay kailangan dyan siya or monitor or assist po, ma'am. Sige, so unsa man na ito, alimbawa, nag-klase ka, niya, Kaya magamit na magamit sa estudyante ilang cellphone for learning purposes. Taga edaw mig example. Kanang kuan ma'am, kanang magbuhat og ay kanang magkuan sa ay ko tema mag-sharing og PPT ma'am kuan na good ma. Unsa man wala mag-report? Yes po ma'am. Ah, okay. Sige, pwede. Dili na laptop ang gamit. Ang cellphone lang. I-connect lang sa ano. Okay, sige. Unsa pa, Jude? Oh, yes, Barbarona. Ang sa mo po, ma'am, tong base sa uh, mga senior high school po, ma'am, ang way sa mga teachers po, ma'am, kaya nang magamit ang mong self-control ka ng naay mga unfamiliar terms, hindi kaya ka mag-introduce o mga bagong topics sa lessons po, ma'am. Ipa-search na mo at through Google. Okay, sa'yo pinaka-paskas, maka-search mo po, maka-answer po, ma'am. Okay, and then okay, other reports. Okay. okay, so that can be possible if ever there are some topics unfamiliar to the class or words or terminologies baka ron nga unfamiliar. So, the students can be allowed to Google the answer. Okay, at least they can make use. Pero, of course, kailangan po na ay internet. Hindi makaka-search kung wala po internet. Diba? Ayan. So, meaning, teachers should not treat technology as enemy in the classroom. Dapat, the teacher should use technology for the benefit and advantage of both the teacher and the students. Okay? Next. Okay. What are the technologies to support Bloom's taxonomy? Diba? We have different levels of taxonomy, remembering, understanding, etc. So there are technology tools that we can use para ma-address ni siya. Halimbawa, remembering phase. What can be the technological tools used to support kining remembering phase. Unsa nga mga activity online or mga technology tools nga pwede magamit using this domain or taxonomy nga remembering. Unsay na as a example diha waban. Okay. Sige. So, saan man ang magamit ang technology sa kana nga part? Okay, so teaching, kung ingan na, kahit take ang mga sudyante ron, elementary, tudluan na ni mo sila Microsoft Word, okay. Okay, what are you going to do if ingon ani, increase ang font, i-decrease ang font? Kaya usually, pag may ingon tag remembering, it's more on memorization, tama ba? More on recall. So if students are having this, sana hands-on na paggamit sa Microsoft Word, na added ang mga steps, Naka-stipulate na the door first, ingun-ana open your Microsoft Word, and then ingun-ana. 
So at least students will master the use of Microsoft Word. Okay? So, na na. so pwede na siya sa recalling or remembering. Now, ano naman siya? Thank you. Okay, so it's already time. We will continue our discussion sa kining taxonomy and technology pagka uh, Wednesday. So asa kutub ang coverage dere sa uh, para lang guided mo. Ako po ng isens sa inyo later for tomorrow for asynchronous posting. O, dere ra kutub ang sa examination kini. Ang big picture B, wala na na siya i-appeal ha. So, mag-study na mo in advance kay Friday na mo na itong exam. Kini siya din rin, big picture B. Wala na siya labot. Kini, okay? That would be for the next examination. So, kutob lang d'yo din rin sa, ang sa nga page? 24. Pero ang kini 24, mga assessment tasks man eh. So, asa mo mag-study sa sim from page 1 up to page 19. Okay? Na sabdan? Okay. Yes, ma'am. So, it's already time. Pwede na 